I'm trying to say straight people, guys, were homophobic for not wanting to watch a movie with explicit gay sex in it. It's like, mm. you do realize that straight men are not attracted to other men. And so mm. they do not like watching sexual acts. I don't believe that that I, I fully believe that they're mischaracterizing what happened of men engage. I, I, it, this is not a bizarre concept, right? Mm. Uh, but they will legitimately try to attack people and say, no, 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 you're homophobic for it. I have never heard somebody get upset at somebody else for not wanting to watch gay sex. That's never been a thing. You are making this up. You're making it up like nobody gets upset about that. So, unfortunately, Pride Month is over, and it is now Murica Month. Nonetheless, gay people are still a thing. Yes, that is true. It, it's, it's correct, if you can believe it. Gay people do not just crawl back into a hole once Pride Month is over. So gay people still exist, they're still relevant, and so we're gonna go over something that was uploaded during Pride Month from a channel called Night's Watch. You may know him as Shadowversity. It's called It's Good Because Animals Do It? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. Uh, the thumbnail, you can kind of see it over here, is, uh, it says queer planet, planet, they want a queer world. So I guess he's gonna be commenting on how animals are gay and therefore, like, that's people's argument for why being gay is okay. When that's not the argument at all, that's brought up mainly because people say that being gay is unnatural and then people are like, oh, well, here are some gay animals, is that not natural? You know, and I think that's a fine argument to make. That's, it's fine. So let's take a look at what Chad has to say about gay animals, because clearly it's been on his mind. Oh yeah, and for those who don't know who Shadowversity is, if, if you've been on the channel for a while, you've probably seen me go over his AI art shit um, when he made like his wife into Superman or Superwoman, sorry. It was really weird. We, we got to look into like his sexual, uh, uh, I don't know if it's like a Superwoman fetish, if you'd call it, but uh, he's definitely taken with Superwoman. So definitely got that from the AI art thing. He considers himself like an AI artiste, right? Which I don't think is a real thing. I think if you make AI art, you're just like shitty. Like you want to be an artist, but you're, you're not. So you just pretend to be. You're LARPing. He's also like a swordsman, sort of. Like he does sword stuff, but not really well. And uh, the sword fighting community or the sword community isn't very happy with him lately. So he's just a fail son in every way. Like his YouTube channel's failing. It's not good. So let's take a look. <laughs> Welcome back to the watch and Oz, did you know the animals are Hello. gay? The frogs are. The frogs what are they doing to the rest of them? <laughs> frogs no, no, are so gay. There is a new um They're to the frogs, yeah. coming out on Peacock. Which <laughs> don't know why that sounds appropriate. There's a gay documentary. Huh? Because it out says P and Cock. Cock. I get it. There is. There is, right? And uh, it's I get it, guys. I get it. Homosexuality in the animal kingdom. And I found this just so bafflingly bizarre mm. that they would use this and frame it in such a way to try and say homosexuality, everyone, that's just a normal thing in the animal kingdom. Animals do it. So therefore it's normal for humans to do it. Mm. And I was like, yeah, why not? Well, well, hang on. Are you really using? But once again, that's uh, a straw man. Because nobody is saying that, like, animals are doing it, therefore it's okay for humans to do it. It's a response to being gay is unnatural. That's why people say that. It's in response to that statement and that sentiment. That framing? To try and justify a practice that humans do because animals do it. Do they have any idea what animals also do? Yeah. That's just going to be this whole video, isn't it? Do I even have to watch the rest of this? This entire thing is just going to be animals also eat each other. Animals also uh, rape each other. Animals also do this and that. Like, it, okay, I get it. I get it. Like, animals are not saints. <laughs> Did you know animals shit in the woods? Yeah, true. If I had a cock, I'd be too. Yeah. Cock havers, go ahead and pee. If you're a cock haver in the chat, pee. Pee now. Literally, humans are also classified as animals, so like, what's the issue? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, that's a weird discussion to get into. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. They eat their own young! Yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, but gays don't. No! <laughs> they don't! Why is he <laughs> staring at us? That's dark. 
Is he okay? Who is this guy? What's his name? Mr. Neckbeard uh, over here and Neckbeard extraordinaire. Like, why are you staring? What's the deal? Like, wh and what's this cloak here that you got? It looks like it's dripping off of you. Not in a good way. You, you look like you're LARPing. Both of them do. Man. So you don't get to believe in gay animals and evolution at the same time. Uh, you don't get drip. to. Explain that. What? Because evolution is traits go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? I know, about. I know. It's an, I, I, gay, gay relationships. Yeah, okay. Let me give you guys a little bit of insight into how evolution works. It works by the process of good enough. That's good enough for survival, okay? And, re and reproduction, it's good enough, okay? So you get genetic mutations, you get all kinds of wibbly wobbly wacky dacky shit, okay? And it's not perfect. There's a very imperfect process. If it were perfect, it, you know, we would, uh, we would see animals that are very well attuned to their environment, which we do. But there's, they would be so well attuned that like there would be no, there would probably be no gay animals because they they would purely be sexually reproducing. And yeah, I don't know, like it, it's just a, it's it's a very imperfect process, and that's you know, and so if the entire thing, it, my point is, evolution is a very imperfect process. Yeah, and whiptail lizards exist too, and also asexual reproduction exists. Okay, so like there's all kinds of ways that animals like do things sexually and also like seahorses like have uh the males carry the babies like and and also there's a thing called penis jousting you guys know what penis jousting is they would really like this probably uh, penis jousting is a that's the scientific term i'm not kidding it's a phenomenon in which a certain species of sea slug gets that's how they have sex basically um because they have both organs for reproducing and so they get into a penis jousting competition and whichever one penetrates the other first wins and then they get to impregnate the other one and that actually helps them uh, uh reprodu that's that's how they reproduce and then it, the one who wins gets to go ahead and reproduce with other people and the one who loses is, is stuck with the pregnancy yeah just look at snails what i was trying to say before is evolution is a very imperfect process if evolution has the quote-unquote goal of like reproduction then yeah you wouldn't see gay animals but we do see gay animals, and that's because evolution is very imperfect. Obviously, yeah. right? It doesn't mean it didn't happen, and you know, but these are like animals that and it's you know, fine. Couldn't it's have also fine. Made it the opposite gender. So who's going out and molesting all these animals? And a lot of these animals, right? They also resort to it as the last option. So wait, does all the, also does that mean that he doesn't believe in evolution because he knows that gay animals exist, right? So he's just saying that evolution doesn't exist. So he's like an anti-evolution guy. Is that what I'm getting? That's cool as f what do lesbians get? Lesbians get lizards. You have lesbian lizards. You guys know what lesbian lizards are? New Mexico whiptail. Somebody mentioned it in chat. Whiptail lizards are all female. Many species of whiptail lizards are all female. These badass la these badass ladies figured out how to clone themselves so they wouldn't have to bother of having sex with males to maintain their species. This natural form of cloning is called partho partheno Genesis, and it isn't as complicated as it sounds. But yeah, they just uh, pop a piece of them off and basically just pop a piece of themselves off and it becomes a baby and it, like they just clone themselves. It's sick, you know? Nature's crazy. You get cloning, yeah. He's Mormon. Oh, okay. So yeah, they don't believe in evolution. Got it. Hmm. Very Wait. smart. A, a, lot of, a lot of animals that resort to homosexual attractions are usually because they can't find a mate of the opposite sex. Huh. Yeah, and religion isn't like, natural too. True. I can't put it in anything else, so you'll do so if a squirrel can't find a lady squirrel, he'll find a dude squirrel to there, bust a nut. In a lot of cases, right? That's not always how and, it happens. I mean, That's not how it happens. It's not like, I don't know to what extent experiments have been done on this, but they're absolutely like gay squirrels. There are squirrels who are male, who prefer squirrels that are male. That is a thing that exists. You can't get around that. See, dogs, they're willing to freaking hump anything. Right? Yeah. All right. So if a beaver can't find a lady no, beaver, no, because the point is, a lot of these cases of the uh, ew, did you see that beaver smile? Beaver can't find a lady no, beaver. because the point is, he thinks he's so quirky, dude. He thinks he's so cute, dude. You look disgusting. Go get a haircut. A lot of these cases of the uh, homosexual sex of the animals aren't that hairstyle's a choice. The animals are legitimately gay. There might be some rare, few small instances, right? But sometimes a lot of it is that these animals are super horny and they just need it to bust a nut. In super horny. Or they're so just if gay. A they're on a heifer. Heat. He'll get a buck. There are cases. Worth reminding you guys the only reason we're having this discussion in the first place is because they hate gay people. That's the only there reason. Cases, right? Okay, Otherwise, this wouldn't matter. Still, like. We're not going to watch much of this, but just like this. Our planet is home to over 11 million species. There's more animals than that. Sure. Why do they show mushrooms? 
because when these the thing that starts these gay animals going at it is they eat the wrong mushroom in the forest. You reckon? I reckon. Ha ha ha. The funny rats really are everywhere. Everything you were taught as a kid is wrong. Was those gay lions? They are. They're gay lions. That's awesome, dude. The paparazzi really are ever- There's also trans lions, if you guys didn't know. When male lion- when the male lion- if and when the male lion of the pride dies, and there's not another male to replace them, a female can actually be stimulated to grow a mane, and they become essentially a, the, the male dominant lion. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. Nature is wild, dude. Everywhere. That's Everything why they call it the wild. kid is wrong. You- No! Uh, hang on, hang on. Are they trying to say that, like, heterosexual, you know, sexual relationships are the norm for most many species on Earth? That's not wrong. Just because there are exceptions to the norm doesn't disprove the norm. I honestly think they're going to be like, everything you've been told as a kid was wrong. Okay, obviously, the reason that sex is a pleasurable activity is to stimulate reproduction. Everyone knows that, okay? But for one thing, again, evolution's a very tricky and imperfect process. And for another thing, who actually gives a shit? Like, who, like you guys don't care about science. You're f Mormons. You're Mormons. Like, you do not care about science. You don't care about any of this. You just hate gay people. That's all this is. Wrong. Okay, it's actually gay relationships that produce offspring. It's... They want to rewire, you know, people, basically. Ah, the conspiracy they're, they're, theory. They're, this is an attempt to socially engineer and teach a new doctrine to be... Yeah. I agree with that, 100%. Yeah. Um, and this is... This whole... Thing is just another really bizarre one where I wonder if they think the Jews are doing it. What do you guys think? Probably, probably, right? I, I have I, I have trouble understanding the only how thing they're they missing. Honestly, thought the framing of this mm. helped their cause out because trying to say that you know because you said it's unnatural, so they prove that it's that it's completely natural that other animals do it, and even if other animals didn't do it, I don't care. Okay? Being gay doesn't affect me. If other people are, are gay, it doesn't affect me. All right? I'm a little gay too. All right? Not for either of you idiots because you guys look like shit. Okay? But I'm a little bit gay for people who look nice and well-kempt and a little bit feminine. Okay? I like, I like feminine guys. All right? And there's nothing wrong with that. If I want to rail a feminine dude in the ass, there is nothing wrong with that. It doesn't hurt you guys at all. As long as that person consents, it is totally, completely fine. And I don't understand the problem. Homosexuality should be treated and regarded exactly equivalent as heterosexuality. I'm gay for myself right? based. Because animals can be gay as well. It's just like, no, no. Animals will murder. They will eat their own kind. They will eat their own young. Uh, like, no. Okay. The fact that humans are able to rise above base animal instinct is what sets us apart of every other animal species on Earth. Yeah. Critical th So eating your own young is a bad thing to do, right? Murdering is a bad thing to do. Being gay is not a bad thing to do. This is like, um, this is like an argument that's like, well, Hitler also breathed air, and you breathe air, so therefore you must be Hitler, right? Like, that's the argument they're making, essentially, is that animals eat their young, animals uh, murder, and animals are sometimes gay, and therefore, if you're gay, you're like a, a, a baby-eating murderer. It's so stupid. Yeah, humans also do that, too. It's not like, like, humans have the highest rate of, of murder on the f planet. Thinking, understanding, moral complexity mm. okay actually comprehending good and evil is what sets humans apart and that's why we can see certain behaviors in the animal kingdom and say if we were to do it that would be wrong mm. right mm. like infanticide is that infanticide? Infanticide, infanticide, yeah. infanticide right yeah that's horrendous mm. and evil some animals do. nobody's saying that infanticide's well. okay man this is such a straw man you know you do not know <laughs> You don't know Clarkson's farm? The only farmer I know is Old McDonald. I, I, I was this close to slapping you. They're Shame completely you. Rizless. I was like, I, just, I, had, I was ready to just go, Brish. Hey. It's one of the greatest shows on TV at the moment. It's not on TV, it's on Amazon. On? Well, there you go, it's not even on TV. It's Jeremy Clarkson. Oh. It's freaking amazing. What's he doing? Punching producers? It, it, no, what? He's, he's running a farm, man. Punching milk producers? It's actually, I don't know. Get to the point. The shows on what is this tangent? Huh. It's so good. He's making. He runs a farm, and so in on season three, which I watched recently, he got okay. some pigs, and uh, and he makes up a paddock, 
make some homes for them. And one of the pigs uh, he actually bought was already pregnant and has some strange babies. Mm. And so he comes okay. back, you know, the other day after they're delivered. And one of the babies is missing, except an ear. The mother ate it. Oh, I thought it was some sort of Van Gogh pig. No, 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 the mother ate. This is such a strange reference to pull up. I get it. Animals eat their babies sometimes. It's like, is that all we're going to talk about? Like, make an actual argument against why people should be gay. One of its like, why people babies. should, like, for why people should right. be gay, I guess. Um, pigs. Yeah, pigs, are, they're willing to eat pretty much anything. Damn, why are pigs so selfish and greedy? <laughs> so, again, uh, it, it just this is just bizarre. This just seems like really weird. And now, of course... I don't have an issue with gay people, okay? I have an issue with them trying to put, you know, lifestyles in, like I'd say, you must watch, you know, the gay sex or you're a bigot or something like that, like they did with that TV, that movie, the, the gay rom-com. Skip these uh, subs. Rooms, yeah. Right? they legitimately trying to say straight people, guys, were homophobic for not wanting to watch a movie with explicit gay sex in it. And it's like, mm. you do realize that straight men are not attracted to other men. And so mm. they do not like watching sexual acts I don't believe that that I I fully believe that they're mischaracterizing what happened of men engaged. I, I it, this is not a bizarre concept, right? Mm. Uh, but they will legitimately try to attack people and say, no, 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 you're homophobic for it. I have never heard somebody get upset at somebody else for not wanting to watch gay sex. That's never been a thing. You are making this up. You're making it up. Like nobody gets upset about that. We're living in clown world at this point, okay? I agree, but, but not for the reasons of, you think. Oh, someone's gay? Doesn't mean spit to me. It's a nothing. It's like saying someone has then shut blue up about eyes it. or blonde hair, right? <laughs> uh, that, that's how much of a nothing it is to me as to my regard for them as an individual and as a person mm. and how much I'm willing to be friends with them, associate with them, or anything. Then shut yeah. up it, about it. It means it. nothing to yeah. me. Also... I have as much little interest or regard into their sexual practices and their private life. Mm. Don't want to know about it. I don't want you to know about my private life. I'm not going to share it with you. I'm not going to go in when I meet people and say, do you know I'm straight and married and, and then go into private acts? And Nobody stuff like, does this. Like Nobody walks up to somebody else and is like, did you know I'm gay? When has that ever happened to you, Shad? Ever. I guarantee you that's never happened to him. He's just like, what's the meme where like, where like uh, there's there's two of them. There's one where like a kid is like putting a boot on his own forehead like this or on his own the side of his head. And then the other meme is like where a guy, it's like a cartoon where a guy paints like a bunch of monsters. And then he like curls up on the floor and gets upset at them. And th those are the two memes that I think of when I when I hear this bullshit. Yeah, I, it's so weird that he is upset. The extremists in the LGBT community, because not all the LGBT community like this. They don't like the extremists that are trying to push it so far and try and push it in front of kids and everything like that. And this documentary is one of another example of that, where they're trying to push it everywhere. What do you mean push it in front of kids? LGBT kids are a thing. I hate this so much. It's like, well, it's fine. I just don't want to in front of the kids. There are gay and trans kids. There are gay and trans kids. They exist. So th nobody's pushing anything in front of the kids. It's, they're, they're, it's the kids themselves that are gay and trans and you're making them uncomfortable, sometimes to the point of, you know, I'm sorry to bring the mood down, but that's just the reality is that people like this are driving children to kill themselves. You know, that's pretty f***ed up. Everywhere, but also make it equivalent to traditional relationships. <laughs> just thinking, because <laughs> obviously they're going to, this is not. Hold on, but what also make it equivalent to traditional relationships. This is just homophobia. Like, what's not equivalent about it? That they can't have babies? Okay, so then what you're telling me is that what you believe is that a couple who cannot have babies is not equivalent to a couple who can have babies. In some ways, that's true. I'll grant that. But that never comes up, right? It's like a man, a cis man and a cis woman who cannot ha conceive a child for whatever reason. Maybe the cis man had a, a, a procedure done or the, the cis woman had... Uh, infertility going on you know you don't you just don't know right but that's fine with them that's fine that's that's a good relationship that is equivalent to a relationship where both uh parties are able to conceive but not gay uh relationships for some reason just for some reason who's to say right like what's up with that man 
I've been queer my whole life, repressed for my entire my entire teen years and early 20s, but here I'm late 20s and happy again. Good for you. You should be happy. You deserve it. Why are people always concerned with having babies all the time? Because they're breeders. They have breeding kinks. That's all it is. They 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 think that like this is like Elon Musk having like what 10 kids or whatever the f like with all, with different people. Like he wants to like he's literally hasn't he literally said I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that he's literally said like he wants to populate the earth with like his crotch goblins like that's what he wants to do because he just thinks that highly of himself and he thinks he's that f smart and like his semen is that delicious that like you know it's, it's gonna like yeah he said something like that it's disgusting they're perverts they're freaks and they, they project the freakishness onto us <laughs> just thinking because obviously they're gonna this is another thing like push it towards the kids right mm -hmm. the cow goes moo the duck goes quack the lion says stop it <laughs> <laughs> that's a better one it's your old f Joke, man. Fine, that's a cleanish. I joke. can say clean joke. Yeah, yeah. Like I would, I would encourage you to go that. Way. Also, there's nothing wrong with that joke. Like I'd be fine with telling a kid that joke. That's it, it's not it's not a bad joke. It's just old. And there's nothing wrong with telling a kid that. I like those ones. That's fine. Yeah. Stop. And so it. I just wanted to point this out really and show it. Like maybe oh, shall we try and suffer through a bit more of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make me wanna dance. Gay penguins, bisexual lions. Sex All right, so like the bisexual lions. In that case, it's because the lion, the male lion, he's actually straight. He just couldn't get, you know, mm. mate with a... But that's not always true. Sometimes it's literally just a coin flip of, like, whether the lion mates with a female or a male. Sometimes it's just a coin flip. They think your entire purpose is to breed and propagate your bloodline? Oh, yeah, for sure. That joke is bad. It's worse than a dad joke. I think it's... It can be cute. It can be cute. It depends on the context. Mormonism places a huge emphasis on breeding. Oh, absolutely. They have, like, uh... Don't they... Don't Mormons, uh, believe that concubines are, like, okay? Like, it's fine to have concubines? Like, it's really... Lions are gay as like a social thing. Oh, they, so they just like go out to the bar like, hey, you know, like they, they just f each other as a greeting. That's pretty cool. Two dudes f each other just to say hi. No, 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 female lie. Gay penguins, which one lays the egg? None do. Lesbian penguins, which one wins the fight? Sex changing clownfish. This is a queer planet. Sex changing clownfish. But it, uh, okay, let me go back real quick because I missed that. Which one lays the egg? None do. But who cares? Y'all got to Breeding king. Being penguins. Which Sorry one wins God. the fight? Sex changing clownfish. This is a queer planet. Sex changing clownfish. Look at this. This is a queer yeah. planet. That's the, what they want to. They want to make the world be perceived as queer. They want everything. But but clownfish do change their sex. They can. Not always, but they can. If the female dies, the male can become female. That's how that works, right? Like, clownfish can demonstrably change their sex. As it turns out, they aren't homophobic, but just very disappointed that Mpreg is the real thing. I mean, Mpreg is a real thing, but not, like, you, you can't be, like, at this point in history, you cannot be a male, a person who was born male and become pregnant. At least not yet. We're getting close. To be gay. And that's just, uh, I find that odd. It's like, hang on. I'm perfectly happy to be friends with you, you know, mm. once upon a time it was... For the record, I don't even know why you, the f*** you would want to be pregnant. Like, I just, it seems terrible, <laughs> but to each their own. Acceptance, tolerance, right? Uh, not treating them any different or anything like that, which I think, yeah, that's good, right? But now it's celebration and promotion. It needs to be everywhere. Yeah. They... Yes, to counteract the degradation. Because historically, there's been degradation and outcasts, like, because of this. Simply because of who you are as a person. So yes, I'm fine with them celebrating it. They deserve what it. What a gay planet. Why? Because they just hate straight white men. They've are admitted this. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? That uh, this crazy streamer w said legitimately that she will indoctrinate, if she has a son, she will indoctrinate him to be gay or trans. Sim okay, I guarantee one of two things. One, that was tongue-in-cheek. Two, that never happened. One of the two. Simply because she hates straight white men. Because mm. she believes all straight white men are misogynist. Absolutely mm. tongue-in-cheek. But that's where it comes from. See, this is the end result of animal husbandry. You reckon? I don't know what that word means, but I seem... But I get what you're saying, because husbandry, husband, male, animal... You were trying to get a... What the f***? What? Result of animal husbandry. This is the end result of animal husbandry? Doesn't that just mean animals... That just means when two when two animals like have a baby, right? I don't know I don't what know. that word means, but I seem. But I get what you're saying because husbandry, husband, male, animal. You were trying to get a play on words then. 
Not your best for it. If you don't know what a word means, don't try to use it in a sentence. <laughs> like pre-planning animal partnering, like for livestock. Okay, thank you. I thought that's what it was. Like I, I thought it had to do with that, I should say. I was taught as a kid that I must have a partner in order to reach the highest kingdom. Wow, that's pretty cool. I sense sexual tension between the two LARPy lads. I don't know. They, they seem pretty repressed, honestly. I don't sense any sexual tension at all. I just sense sexual tension from outside the building. You know what I mean? Like they, they can't get laid. Like, his wife won't f*** him anymore. I don't even know if he has a wife. I'd be very surprised. I'd be very surprised if they were gay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I just don't want them- Hey, I'll give him this. At least he's not pretending to sound smart. I'll give him a point for that, at least. Putting chemicals in the water that turn the frogs gay. But he's not funny. All the lines- I hear that was actually true. Mm, that, it is true. That the frogs were- uh, their, their gender was getting changed yeah. because of the chemicals. What's next? The, the zebra is going to be, you know, every color of the rainbow, huh? That's basically it. This is just one of those weird things that's- I think that would be, f like, I, I think that'd be cool, first of all. And second of all, that's just not a good joke. Like, you don't have- you can't riff, man. It's like, this is not the win that you think it is. Comparing- Like, I know my riff game during this segment has not been the best, because this is my first segment of the day and I'm kind of tired, but like, his, his riff game is not there. Gay people or gay relationships to the animal kingdom is not good, alright? Mm. You should not try and justify practices based on what animals do, because animals are animals, right? Mm. We've been over this, but again, it's just a response to people saying being gay isn't natural. There's a reason why we consider is. humans to be a higher life form. And yes, they are. We're animals in a sense. Of this is also like just homophobia. Because if you're saying that animals do things that humans shouldn't, and one of those things is being gay, you're saying that like, and, and you also are saying that like humans are the higher life form. You're saying we're the higher life form because we can abstain from our homosexuality, which is very homophobic, you know? I'm sure they would like say, I'm not homophobic, brav, I just, you know, I, another, I'll, I'll see. Not homophobic, mate. Just think, uh, I just think, uh, the gays are, uh, a bit unnatural, even though clearly it's demonstrated here that they are natural, right? But uh, I still don't think it's good because I'm Mormon. I don't, I, I don't have any actual jokes. I was just trying for the impression. I think I did an okay job. It's of our, you know, certain connection to the animal kingdom, but no, I'll see. we are higher beings with a higher form of intellect, which puts a greater standard on us in terms of what we do and trying to justify certain behavior. I still don't know. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I still don't know if I, if they like. I mean, I can clearly tell from the content of this video and the fact that they made it in the first place that they're clearly homophobic, right? But they haven't, like, they haven't even, like, given their opinion on gay people yet. You know what I mean? Like, they haven't sat here and said, like, you should or should not be gay due to this or that or the other. Like, I, I would be interested in knowing what their answer to that is. He's not homophobic, he just thinks your quote-unquote lifestyle will result in you becoming soy jack burning in his hell, yeah with the behaviors of animal is bonkers yeah you're just actually insulting and denigrating the thing that you're trying to promote mm. and that's something i wouldn't do because you know i think there's a lot of it's funny there's a lot of gay people that hate what the extremist lgbt community is doing to represent them where are they in our comments actually well i don't hear them and so i'm going to represent the rest of them with i don't know the, um I mean they're pick me's for sure i think i just think that it's fine to be gay in public like it's fine and when you say, like, pushing LGBT on the kids, like, that's a dog whistle. It's a pretty blatant one. It's, it's, a, it's a very loud, obvious dog whistle because you're just ignoring the fact that kids can also be gay and trans. Which is gross because, again, those kids also need love and support. And telling them that a part of themselves is wrong or isn't appropriate or whatever the f*** you want to say is disgusting because it can drive them to depression and even So f*** you for that. We did, we covered Doctor Who recently about how crazy the LGBT propaganda they're pushing in. And I mentioned in that video that it's a lot of LGBT what people propaganda? that hate this insane push, especially to kill children's content. And I went through and there, there was a trans person and I think three to four gay people commenting in the comments saying, Shad, I completely agree. Yeah. I, I'm gay and I don't I'm care. Sick of this stuff. They they're wrong. They're wrong. They're pick me's. They're pick me. I, I don't care. They're they're wrong. You can be gay and homophobic. You can be trans and transphobic. You can be black and racist. You can be this and that and the other. Like, just because you are of a demographic does not give you license to shit on said demographic. You can't do that. They don't represent me, right? There's a lot of LGBT, LGBT you know, whatever, identifying people that can't stand this. I will also hand them, they're not going for the low-hanging fruit of like, LGBTQIABCDEFG. 
Listen, I do that. This insanity where it's pushed to the extreme, especially in front of kids. However, I feel like if they identify what extreme? as LGBT, that's a political that's a political term, you know. No, they it's not. Don't even want to identify and use the terminology. That's just the term that people. They can join say, our team. Yeah, I'm gay, and doesn't mean a thing. Yep. Okay. Like, does me being straight, you know, I don't know, use that as an identifying thing. Have you been historically oppressed for your straightness? Like, have straight people been historically oppressed on account of being straight? No, they have not. And they still are not being oppressed on account of being straight. That doesn't happen, okay? That's why LGBT is a thing, because lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transsexuals, or transgenders, whatever, both transgender and transsexual because they're separate concepts, have all been historically oppressed on account of their identity as that thing. And that's why they're all lumped into that category, because they're usually... Also, like they're, being trans is not the same thing as being gay. Lesbian, gay, and bisexual are all kind of linked. But like the reason that gay and trans people are linked together into one category is because they were all treated the same. They were all treated as like feminine men or degenerate men or women. You know, like it, it, it's all bigotry. They were all treated with the same brand of bigotry. And that's why it's a thing. So you can say it's political and you might even have a good argument there, but not for the reasons you think. I think Shad is trying to say most gay people are on our side and the other guy is like, what? Yeah, and he's trying to say that there are gay people on our side, like one of the good ones, you know? Plenty of straight people have been oppressed, but never because they were straight. Exactly, yes. Straight people are currently being oppressed by the same people who oppressed the, the gays for being gay. But it's not because they're straight. They're being oppressed for other reasons, like capitalism. Because they have to work a nine to five in order to just survive and, and have their family survive. Because they have to uh, drive 40 minutes to work every day and then also pay for the gas and also pay for the car that breaks down. Uh, and also pay for the meals that they use to fuel themselves so they can work more. And also pay for the, uh, you know, the point is, I tried to keep going with that. The point is, people are oppressed, but not because they're straight, you know? People are oppressed because they are gay. That is a thing that happens, historically. And that's why we say that they can celebrate it. Like, it's fine for them to celebrate it. And if you want to celebrate being gay, go right ahead. Nobody's stopping you from having a straight pride parade. Nobody's stopping you from that, okay? But usually, when you have a straight pride parade, it's anti-gay, okay? That's usually what ends up happening. So go have your straight pride parade, man. Nobody's stopping you. But don't expect anybody to show up, because nobody gives a shit. It's been fine to be straight since forever. That's the- that's been considered the default, unfortunately, you know? Nobody cares. I think for my personal identity, I consider myself an individual, but I'll, look, I will certainly admit that- You're literally the one who made this video. As an Talk about how straight woman, you are and how and much together we have been suck. able to create children, mm. and that is one of the greatest, you know, mm. things in- Okay, then you are also saying that people who are, um, uh, infertile are degenerate, right? Or whatever you would call gay people. I don't know if you'd call them a degenerate, but whatever you would call gay people, you would lump them in the same category, yes? If you are infertile, you are in the same category, according to Shadiversity, as a gay person, because you can't have kids, no matter who you're in a relationship with, right? No, that's probably not right. I would venture a guess that that's not right, because the usually, the, the bullshit they end up pulling is like, well, it's the idea. Like, you were built to have offspring with a man if you're a woman, and therefore, even if you're infertile as a woman, you should still be with- it's, it's all bullshit. All of it's bullshit. In my life. Yeah. That's why I want to celebrate- well, that's why we should celebrate traditional relationship, traditional Go celebrate it then. There's something Go do truly it. special about that relationship. The rest of us are over here the having fun and enjoying our lives. Know, you know, in that relation, they can create life together. Mm. That's incredible. Yeah. But there are <laughs> actually examples. The line wrapping around the Chick-fil-A during busy hours is a straight pride parade. That's pretty f good. Very nice. I hate, like, I'll give him one thing. It's there is true. actually a very common uh, life bonding bird species in Australia that they're often gay just as often mm. like it's a bird bonding species forever Do you okay. know the species of bird mm -hmm. cockatoo good job man it's a great joke fantastic on that note my chat has such better jokes well that sucked it's exactly what i thought it would be the entire time they're just like missing the point in straw manning so i really don't have much more to add Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash alecguntertv slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate it if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.